Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Baja's Kitchen. Today we are making chicken pot pie. For this recipe I'm using onions, celery, potatoes, peas and carrots and garlic for flavor. Finally dice the onions and the celery to make sure that they dissolve in the pie filling. I'm mincing my garlic the old school way, but if you have a garlic crusher, you could use that. Now, typically the recipe calls for leftover chicken, but I didn't have any, so I used fresh chicken breast. All you have to do is just slice them really thinly. After slicing the chicken, go ahead and jump back to the vegetables because we forgot our potato. So we are going to peel it using a sharp knife going around it because we don't have a potato peeler. Then. Go ahead and dice it into small dices. Submerge the diced potato in water, then let it boil for 10 to 15 minutes. After cooking the potatoes, go ahead and strain them and put the pot back on the stove to cook the chicken. Coat the bottom of the pan with olive oil, let it get smoking hot, then add in the chicken. Season with a teaspoon of each, salt, ground black pepper, and oregano. Cook the chicken until you no longer see the color pink. Now it's time to make the filling. Melt a stick of butter in the pan, then add in the chopped celery, onions, and garlic, and then cook until they're translucent. Now that they are translucent, we can add in a quarter cup of flour to make a roux. Go ahead and sprinkle your flour really slowly, and then mix it and let it cook down to get the raw flavor out of it, and then at some point you'll see it to start to come together. With continuous stirring, go ahead and add in two cups of chicken stock to the mixture. Let the mixture simmer for about five minutes or until it thickens, then add in a half a cup of milk while mixing. Teaspoon of seasoned salt, teaspoon of oregano because we want to enhance that aroma and about a half a teaspoon of chili flakes just to give it that little bit spicy kick. Do not, and I repeat, do not hesitate to taste your food along the way to make sure that it comes out perfect. After the base of the filling thickens and comes together, go ahead and add in the chicken, the potatoes, and for this recipe, you can use frozen carrots and peas because it doesn't really matter, they will all dissolve anyway. Add as much carrots and peas as your heart desires, then mix them really well until they're all cooked all the way through, then set aside to cool down while we make the crust. To make the pie crust, use one cup of flour, quarter teaspoon of salt, and third cup of butter. Mix them really well with the fork until they form small pebbles, and the butter is well incorporated into the flour. Now it's time to add the water. Make sure you use cold water so the butter does not melt, and keep adding water until you form a firm, supple ball of dough. As you can see, my dough is starting to come together. Now it's time to roll it into a ball, fold it outside in, and then let it rest in the fridge for about 30 minutes before we roll it. After resting the dough in the fridge for 30 minutes, go ahead and cut it into one third and two thirds, which clearly I forgot to film. Deliberately flour your work surface and grab the two thirds cut 
and that's going to be the bottom piece of your pie. Roll the dough to be about a quarter inch thick. When you're done rolling it, go ahead and roll it onto the rolling pin and make sure you sprinkle a lot of flour because it's going to stick together because of all that butter. Grab your pan and go ahead and flatten it out. Now unfortunately I didn't make enough dough for my pan so it looks a little off. I stretched the dough to the edges of the pan as best as I could considering the amount of dough I had and made it work. Now it's time to add the filling that we had sitting aside. Spread the filling evenly into the pan, then roll out the top piece of the dough into a quarter inch thick. Now again, I didn't have enough dough for this one either, so I somehow made it work. Carefully roll out your top piece onto the pie and make sure that the edges of the crust meet as best as possible. Crack an egg and whisk it really well so it can be brushed on top of that crust to give us a nice golden brown texture. Go ahead and slice holes around your pie to make sure that the steam exits during the cooking process. Bake your pie on 375 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. After the pie cooks, let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes before you serve it. Carefully cut the pie so you don't ruin that crust and serve yourself a nice healthy slice. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you next week.